Tiana, mm-hmm. how are you, love? Annyeong, lo em nida. Hey, Tiana, I'm Nick. Thanks, Tiana. I'm Curtis. It's your special request, love. DPRE and Seraph. Seems to be a compilation of a couple songs. Oh, oh excuse me. Seraph, One Shot and Mood, Ribbon, <laughs> Mito movie. So, <laughs> so seems part to be like, one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this seems to be like a, a, a mini okay. mashup of, you know, a couple songs or something. So it's Definitely not the first person to request, uh, like, bro. Mm-hmm. I've heard, yeah, I've seen his name a lot. I just never listened to any music. Australian artist based in SK. I think it's Dream Perfect Regime. Mm-hmm. Um, Where did I go wrong with you? Got here. <laughs> oh, this is trippy. Like no one will lose. <laughs> my blinky somewhere else. <laughs> Introduce color into his life.
Production. <laughs> that shit had the eyeballs pop up behind them. You in a Pharrell BPM right there. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you sound like Pharrell. <laughs> Invisible man. Were they so afraid of Fighting demons. Oh, sh I wish we had more time because <laughs> uh, y'all yeah, get an hour conversation on me yeah. with this man. The production um, on this, the the literal vibe. production and the the, pro the music, like I didn't know. It's 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 so much to get into with this. Mm -hmm. It was so well produced, like you said, on uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, it's so well produced. Uh, as far as the music video goes, um, and just as far as all the productions on uh, like each track, I said this shit sounded like Pharrell stuff. Shit, I said that these tracks sounded like Pharrell tracks. That's kind of like the highest praise you can get from me, uh, just because this production sounds so, so beautiful. Um, I'm assuming this project is touching themes of like anxiety, depression. Um, just uh i was getting uh not to compare i was getting like king daniel vibes yeah. as far as like paranoid and antidote and all those i got jackson jackson uh, like feels i can i can get that too Pause. um <laughs> <laughs> i can understand that too um i like this is i like this a lot it, and it's it all was the same vibe and nothing felt like the same track no, if that makes sense, at least yeah. to me. I, off download, first I downloaded listen. three of these: one shot, mood, and ribbon. 
The last three, actually. Yeah, I downloaded all three of those. So, and they all went on different playlists. So, I, I that's pretty dope. That's the first. That's the first I ever had that. Yeah. Um. That's the. The, the editor was working overtime. Um, just some of these shots, um, whether it was shot practically and then a lot of them when they jumped like into like the CGI and stuff. Um, the atmosphere, too, that they established on here a lot. A lot of the shots, they uh, kind of use like the, the blinking method where it's like yeah, it'll yeah. go black kind of real quick and, and then switch, it'll switch like up to something doing, and everything. Somewhere else, yeah. So many match cuts, so many hidden things, eyes here, a demon face here, or, you know, people creeping into the room. Um, this is almost a master class for two things. Uh, one for like sound uh, and then another one just for kind of like filmmaking. Um sure. The desert, the desert part is actually like pretty dope for trip hop, not trip hop, uh, trippy like alternative music and everything like that. If you listen to like experimental or like I said, alternative and um, atmospheric type music, the video matches it perfectly for like what one shot sounded like and everything. Uh, like I'm assuming this California, that's what it looks like, like the Mojave mm -hmm. or something. But um, yeah, this this. This whole thing was just uh, a kind of a master class. And this has set the bar for indie artists or, you know, artists. Of, uh, that's where I was going to go yeah, to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is the, the bar for you guys, to be honest. This is what you have to compete with. There's people out here doing stuff like this and everything like that. And he's not like worldwide famous or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anything like that. He's not a household name. And, you know, not, or I don't know over there. He could be because uh, the, um, like I said, the, the, what you call the charts over there, the circle charts and everything like that, tell a completely different story than most, like, idol music is maybe, like, two or three songs sometimes that'll be on there from idols, but for the most part, it'd be, like, rap and K-hip-hop and R&B and all that stuff like that, but if, I don't, I don't know what his stature is, if he just likes to play the indie side and, you know, mm -hmm. keep it player like that, like a Brent Fayez type, or what, but he is... This is dope. I'm gonna come back to this. I didn't like I said. I downloaded three songs. I'm gonna come back and watch this. Yeah, I couldn't even jump like to download them because I was still trying oh, to like I got, be here. I'll send it to you, huh? Um, good look. Um, the landscaping shots on here were just beautiful. It was framed so perfectly to kind of uh like catch like that sun rising or sun setting and then still keep him like in frame and everything kind of centered. Mm -hmm. Um, everything was so beautifully shot yet like they kept like everything a little jarring in a sense just because they kind of were, like, leaking you into his world. Um, just even kind of, like, when those camera shakes, those whip pans, uh, look at the flowers blooming, cut. Uh, like, it's just, this is a master class. This is fun. This is something that you can, like, I can see this having so much rewatchability value and re-listening value oh, yeah. um, just because I'm pretty sure whatever songs you download, the tracks are going to be longer than Hell the snippets yeah. we kind of, like, got on here. Um, I'm going to let you get your, your this, clip this off. This came out quickly. July 29th. Oh, this year? Mm -hmm. Damn, he in a conversation with something. Um, <laughs> Dog. Yeah. Uh, in the fourth quarter. <laughs> motherfucker, go ahead, man. I'm going to let you get your clip off, but this this was a lot. This is how you do shit. Like you said, this is the bar, and this is why I'm not going to say we're mean to other people, but this is why when shit don't click or when you don't have no substance, when you can't be versatile, and when your MVs don't look like this, you it's it's gonna be a hard road for you here. You might get one listen from us, and then that'd be it for the year. <laughs> no, this this is a masterclass, and honestly, everything that you can possibly imagine, especially when it comes to the filmmaking. I did think the musicality of everything certainly was was hit for me as well. Like I did like you know the range of his of his vocals for sure. I like the emotion behind the things he was saying. I like how it almost seemed like he could play in like elements of like rock or like um perhaps like alternative or, or any kind of grunge style but also like he had a, a soothing voice as well for some of the the more um the more i don't, I don't want to say calming parts but the more like when it seems like he's like talking about someone that represents the light to him it's like much more soothing and common so i, I kind of like what i'm seeing as far as the exploration on like the ladder of where his voice can go mm -hmm. um definitely want to shout him out just as a side note too on the acting behind this because he had to convey a lot of emotions a lot of intriguing um things as far as um, you're, you're playing with like a lot of CG around you, 
Um, so I'm imagining a lot of green screen, a lot of um, like only practical sets indoors and everything. So it's mm -hmm. like a lot of the story you have to tell, especially in those match cuts, you have to be so consistent. There's continuity. He was portraying such a level of emotions that I'm curious if he even has a, like an acting repertoire or anything like that, just because, I mean, he had to deliver so much beyond just music acting, I feel like. Right. And I don't mean that as a slight, because clearly acting is acting, and those who show it, show it. But They say a lot of rappers wanted to be actors before. No, but it, it's the, the level of emotions that he was conveying in here, um, in just with his expressions and almost the, the jump outing. Like, he had such a, like, his mannerisms had such, like, a jumping out expression to them within everything, because you literally felt him being tugged between good and evil, um, light and dark, and all those things. So I, I thought just his acting in that especially. Um, that being said as well, you know, clearly the filmmaking behind everything is, is stellar to the highest degree. Mm -hmm. um, I love the vibrancy of the sets. I love the, the bait and switches, the, the hiding things in the distance and then revealing them, the, the use of shadows and um, kind of how they went for the more vibrant colors uh, palettes yeah. when they were going with the, um, the drug uh, inducing kind of sequence. Um, how every almost like flash of the, the black light was kind of a mercurial sort of thing where you were switching between this emotion, that emotion, this emotion. Uh, you saw one where it's like cold and he's like shivering. You saw another one where there's a hue of smoke and there's fire. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just going between literally the hots and colds of kind of every emotion. Um, where, but everything before that, before that drug taking sequence where what this represents being that oh, yeah. like a, set of, uh, like a psych psychedelic drug, mm -hmm. um, Everything before that was kind of black and white and monochromatic. Um, so I think that that color palette scheme where it's like, um, it, it just aided so well in communicating everything visually. So whatever kind of um, pre-production uh, they had to go into to kind of match everything. I love how the, you'll see the angel wings in the sky and then there's that hue of darkness and it's demon wings mm -hmm. rather uh, kind of seeming. And I don't know if that could be love perhaps or it's like you think this person's going to be an angel to you. They end up representing a demon or something like cool. that. But um, ironically, what they kind of said in the beginning, too, was that this uh, person or whatever, like, um, everything that I've created, you're the good. Like, you represent all the good. Okay. So I thought that was all portrayed very well. Um, the time-lapse shots of, like, the clouds going by, the, mu the moon staying, and then you get in the eclipse. Last thing I really want to say about the actual production of it, just because this really is a master class, is... Um, that hue when they're in the, the desert scene particularly where it's literally between uh, the sun rising and, and going down or whatever, uh, between day and night, dusk, if you will. I mean, you dusk, yeah. I, I love um, that dusk Magic hour. Be, the thing that I love about that too is symbolically, like everything that they did within the landscape shots of it itself was presented well, but the subtext of it being you're literally between kind of light and dark and, um, you know, being it, it kept with the, the metaphor that they were trying to portray. But then um, as darkness hues in, you see the light, the white lights of the van coming by. And again, that's like you're in the midst of darkness. You see the light coming towards you. It represents something more positive, only to be like a van that kidnaps you, essentially. So it kind of kept with that, like flipping it on its head. Um, and then that's when you get all the crazy, uh, like 360 shots inside the van, the disorientation aspect of everything. Um, they made the audience and everything uh, feel jarred as well to kind of put you in his state of mind as far as like all the jarring uh, cuts. Definitely all the horror aspects of everything, as far as like mm -hmm. the fog, the mist, the demons, the the eyes popping up behind. B borderline um, scary. Yeah, it, it's the, the horror aspects of this was very inspiring, and honestly, something I've never really seen in horror before. So just that in and of itself is something that was inspiring. Getting, to me. Uh, Lovecraft vibes. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like sure. and I loved. Um, so I every, love everything that. behind this was amazing. I'm really curious on the artist. I do think his voice was was incredible as well. But I was almost I. I mean this in the most respectful way. I was so impressed by the video and, so, and much by the acting that I don't want to say the music lost anything, and especially because you had to go from song to song to song. Uh, so it just, I appreciated the music snippets that I was hearing, uh, but I'm very curious about uh, the overarching story and concept within that. And um, likewise, to get more of his vocals and just learn more about him. What's crazy is, is that um, I think this is kind of one of those pieces where this is just either, pure art <laughs> either or could go both ways yeah if if this if filmmaking and some of these like choices aren't something that clicks with you and you zone out you could have just zoned out to the music almost and closed your eyes and <laughs> would have yeah, real <laughs> shit like you could have zoned out and just kind of like you know did that because i know sometimes this this walk that line of being so kind of creepy and eerie yet cool that Enticing. like like yeah it's I, I know some people that don't like that aesthetic though mm -hmm. once they start seeing like bodies moving funny yeah. lights cutting out a certain way people check out real oh, quick sometimes that, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but I love it. Like I'm, I'm really here for it. Like the, this is the company is uh, putting that level of budget behind it. I don't know where they saved and where they, you know, put everything into. I imagine there was a lot of trickery in the match cutting and in the darkness mm-hmm. of everything as far as like the production the level of it. But they, the way they utilized that budget was um, really just pure art. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I don't want to sit here and like bore you out of death. I honestly uh thank you, Tiana. Uh and we need you really did this one. We need we need some more from bruh. Uh I already seen like he had that track with CL, so I'm kinda like yeah, interested. Yeah. But uh no, nah, I'm a chill. I'm gonna download I'm, I'm a, <laughs> dog. I wanna I'm gonna download everything that we listen to from in here and I'm gonna just kinda leave it at that for right now. Uh mm-hmm. jump in the comments, tell us what uh more content from him we should jump into. Tell us where y'all rate him at. Y'all know how we are. As soon as we hear somebody new, it's like, is he the best soloist? <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell us where y'all rate him at. And uh, we love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all. y'all. Peace. Take care.